First of all, I'm very happy to uh, have this round of of excellent uh, industry experts around me, uh, but even more, it's a, it's a round of, uh, of very highly regarded people. Deutsche Börse works closely together on, on uh, its journey in, uh, in the DLT space. That's a key, key, key point um, that I would just like to stress that it's, it, it's um, you know, the, the interaction between new technology and old technology in many places, in many cases, is is actually a requirement because the alternative would be to have a big bang change, and big bang changes just don't happen. What I also recently observed is that uh, uh, the German market really accelerated and is catching up uh, in a really fast pace. I would say. I think the biggest issue is really about cultural change and mental change. So if someone's used to work for 60 years with the same software, why change? And I think this is kind of the biggest area for adoption in a legacy system, which is how to transform another technology into that thing. From pre-trade with KYC to post-trade with proxy voting, collateral management, FX netting, there's pockets of innovation everywhere. We can't stop that. I think my point is we need a responsibility to not create legacy at a faster rate than we did before. This DLT is incredibly powerful and it can bring a very, very wide variety of assets uh, and transaction types to people that simply didn't have access to those things before and we're very happy to be sitting in the middle of all of that alongside our colleagues here at the table but uh, the reality is you have to be clear about what you're trying to do whether the other people in the room are there for the same reason which is quite important and whether or not in the regulatory regime that you work in by the way certainly in capital markets I look at the regulatory regimes around the world whether that actually would embrace your innovation in a way that's positive because if the, if you're going in one direction and the regulator's going in the other you're sort of wasting your time really the topic of this this panel was all around uh, decentralization and i've got a strong view that it's going to be a hybrid i think certain things will always be centralized uh, and the exchanges are generally in a good place to be the facilitator for that. And then some things will naturally be decentralized. And then distributed ledger technology adds that layer of trust for where there's different things that needs to work together. Uh, the, the real push is to create this, this level market, the network view, uh, independent of technology platform or protocol, um, where all these apps, so the liquidity can be spread wider. And the, the last thing the, the industry needs is lots of digital or new digital islands that don't speak together. So you, we really have to work together as a community and work with the incentive models to make that happen. I think the latest developments in DLT are very much progressed compared to um, 18 to 24 months uh, ago. We see um, technology maturing, technolo technological solutions uh, which are much more enterprise-like than we have seen in the past. We see regulators on the move. The latest German regulation really is uh, setting a new standard here and we see uh, market participants open and eager to embrace this new technology and to prepare for its adoption. Finally, we see market infrastructure operators to come up with, uh, with new type of market infrastructure models combining existing and new technology elements uh, and which are at a stage where market participants could adopt and uh, are ready to, to trade and to be loaded. Yes, fantastic discussion today. Most interesting points for me were the the diversity of assets that we're looking at uh, amongst community at the table today, the uh, the parts of the life cycle that we're actually servicing or or liberating or improving, but also the uh, the number of em environments and assets that we're able to bring to the market for the future that we may never have actually have seen before or had access to. So it's the, it's the liberating of a range of assets that simply weren't available to us, and actually being able to facilitate take much more efficient, much more transparent and much more cost effective forms of trading going forward which uh, will hopefully complement our existing world. Mm -hmm.